Google hit with a record $593 million fine in France in news copyright battle. So this is going to be uh, pretty interesting. So let's get right into it. So Google was fined 500 million euros, which is $593 million dollars. Tuesday by French competition regulators for failing to comply with an order to negotiate fair deals with news publishers for the use of their contents. France's competition authority said Google had breached an April 2020 ruling that ordered the company to negotiate in good faith licensing deals with publishers and news agencies for any reuse of copyrighted content. Now here's the thing, right, which I find this to be a little bit funny. Because if you were to go to any news website, whether it be CNN, Fox News, NPR, Washington Post, New York Post, New York Times, the Associated Press, all these different news websites, right? If you actually were to look at all of them, every single news website are basically mirrors of of each other, right? The same articles, nearly the same titles, almost the same information word for word, but with a slight tinge in different opinions. That's how crazy this is that, you know, I find it odd that there's so many of these like like news companies trying to go after Google when all these news companies are literally copying each other already, right? Da, da, da. So in January, Google agreed to a major digital copyright deal with French publishers. And as part of that deal, the company said it would negotiate individual licenses with members of France's press alliance covering related rights and access to a new service called News Showcase. So France's competition agency took issue with this, saying it did not include a discussion on remuneration for current uses of content covered by neighboring rights, for the press. The regulator added that Google restricted the scope of talks with the media by refusing to include the use of press images. It is the largest ever fine imposed by France's competition watchdog for a company's failure to adhere to one of its rulings, according to French news agency AFP. Google was ordered by the regulator to present an offer of remuneration for the use of protected content to publishers within two months or risk facing fines of up to 900,000 euros per day. That's a lot of money per day. So Google said it was very disappointed by Tuesday's decision. We have acted in good faith throughout the entire process, a Google spokesperson told CNBC. The fine ignores our efforts to reach an agreement in the reality of how news works on our platforms. Today, Google is the only company to have announced agreements on neighboring rights, the spokesperson added. We are also about to finalize an agreement with AFP that includes a global licensing agreement as well as the remuneration of their neighboring rights for their press publications. The record fine is the latest development in an ongoing copyright battle between tech giants like Google and Facebook and news publishers. And France was the first country to adopt contentious new EU copyright laws aimed at giving news organizations more protections to ensure they're compensated fairly for the dissemination of snippets of their content online. France isn't the only country taking Google to task over compensation for news organizations. Australia last year required Google and Facebook to pay media outlets for the right to feature their stories. Facebook initially refused, at one point restricting Australians from viewing or sharing news content. You know, social media kind of getting pretty darn big before later coming to an agreement with the government. And again, you know, this kind of like goes to show you like just how powerful the social media companies are actually getting, right? Because here's the thing, right? This is like nearly like half a bill, a little bit over half a bill. But the thing is, this doesn't actually really affect Google much, financially speaking, right? Because here's the thing. No matter how you view it, Google is still going to be making money from other news corporations 
Not to mention, I find this super hilarious because guess what? A lot of these news companies have Google AdSense on their websites, which what do you know? They're making money from Google, right? So they're making money from Google on their websites that they're complaining about Google not paying them for sharing their content or like listing their content on their stuff, right? It is the most retarded situation ever because it's like, hey, all these news companies are copying each other. Every single one of them is pretty much making some form of like probably six, seven figures per month from Google AdSense. And then they're complaining about Google not paying them to like list their content, even though they are. Not to mention all of them probably make money from like listing their content on YouTube as well. All of them make money from probably being partially invested into Google as well because a lot of these companies probably own some Google stock. So it's just hilarious when you really think about it, just like how stupid this weird cycle of like media companies, social media companies are. It's like it's like they're trying to battle each other and it, it's almost like there's not really much point to it, right? Because it's just this super weird cycle of like, hitting the copy and paste button, right? That's pretty much what all like news is nowadays. It's just copy and paste. And then people end up trying to like shape it in a way to get more clicks, to get more views, to make more money, right? Because you could literally have two different websites writing about the exact same thing using 99% of the exact same words within their article, but they just basically might change the title a little bit, change the like thumbnail a little bit of their content. And then they could just basically claim that it's like their own. And then they could generate thousands, if not a hundred thousand dollars from that, you know, video or article that they post. Right. And you got to think about it too. Like a lot of these companies can get millions and millions of clicks, if not billions of clicks per year. Right. So it's just really weird when you really think about how absurd this whole thing is, because I remember reading a story a very long time ago where news is basically just pure clickbait. And I guess there's like this one young individual in a different country who literally just posted fake news nonstop. Right. And I believe this might have been happening during Trump's election or something. But basically, this individual was writing fake news about every single major politician or something like that, or major news event, but faked it and was able to generate nearly like half a million dollars from posting these fake news, like content articles kind of stuff, right? Because just the amount of clicks that this person was getting to their content was you know astronomical right so they were able to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars posting fake nonsense just because he was able to get people to click so you can see what like if one person is able to generate that amount of money you can only imagine what a whole news organization is able to do because you gotta think about a lot of these news organizations are worth billions of dollars right which means they have to be generating hundreds of millions of dollars per year or more to try to justify that price point. So it's just very like interesting when you really start to think about it, like take a step back and think about it because it's just super odd when you have media companies going after social media companies because it's like you're literally making money from their company and yet you're complaining that they're not paying you. It's like, it's so absurd.